Uh, all right, so let's uh, keep talking about uh, jQuery. Uh, if you remember, we have this uh, login application, this, uh, this uh, application we've been working on uh, for the last uh, month or so uh, that you can log in. And, and this is a single page application that uses Angular, right? Uh, so let's, uh, let's just play around with a, just, just a, a page or two on how would we have implemented this uh, using jQuery instead, right? Uh, we'll, we'll just focus on maybe a one or two of these pages, right? We're not going to try and redo the whole thing. As, as you can you go into a profile, you can also have a register, and you can cancel, um, or again, go to a lo login, and then go fetch data from a, from a server, which you can then um, an, um, a display here, okay? So let's, uh, let's do that. So let's, uh, let's implement under um, uh, uh, lectures here, uh, jQuery is Wednesday, right? So let's create a login page, login. And this is not, this is not gonna be a, a, uh, a single page application, right? This is gonna be uh, uh, multiple pages that are gonna actually navigate between these, right? Um, and in each one is gonna use jQuery. So we're not trying to replicate Angular or anything like that, right? Um, so let's uh, let's uh, bring the uh, J jQuery libraries. Let me copy it from here, so I don't have to grab it. Uh, let's see. Let's grab that. Uh, let me put that there. Let me bring also uh, jQuery. Uh, I don't know if these if these are. I might, I might have to go up one. Probably another one. Okay. So say this is the login page. And let me grab the login page already implemented so I don't have to rewrite it. So let's go to user, templates, login, and let me grab some of this here. So let's copy and I'll put it in here. All right. And let me navigate there. So this is a local host, a lectures on no, lectures, jQuery, Wednesday. And this is login.html. Eh, more or less, right? It's good enough. It's good enough. Uh, okay, so so we have that. Uh, we don't. There are no controllers, right? We we don't have any of that. Uh, we don't have these ng nothing, right? There's no ngs here. Uh, there are no ng models. Uh, right. This is these are all abstractions, right? For that, if you're if you're working inside of the Angular, uh, 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 ng click, there's no. We don't have we don't have any of that. Uh, just remember that. these hashes. These hashes mean nothing in jQuery, right? So you would actually want to navigate to register.html. Okay. Let's see what else. Uh, model error. We don't really have anything there. We probably. Uh, okay. So let's see. All right, and uh, at first, uh, we want to maybe style these things to not be displayed, right? This alert, maybe when we will want to say maybe style it, saying that uh, by, by default, the style is that uh, the alert is uh, display none. I don't want to display it first, right? So I don't want to show it. I want to programmatically display it later on. Make sense? All right, so let's do that. All right, so let's see. Um, uh, let's uh, let's have the logic for that login page. Let's have it in a JavaScript, right? We'll have it maybe here. Login dot uh, JavaScript, okay? And in here we will still have uh, our um, our ifs, right? Where we're going to um, do a, a dollar sign uh, init. And the init, in the init, we're going to initialize ourselves, right? Function, function, init, and this is going to say alert, uh, hello from jQuery. Just to make sure that we are loading jQuery. Nope. Wait, what? Oh, right, we never refer to it here, right? I'm going to say script, um, oops, script. Source, and we're going to bring hello, I mean, um, login, right? Login JS, there it is. So that's our, this is going to be like our controller, right? This is the equivalent of kind of like our controller is going to be, but unlike the Angular controllers that had this 
you know, object kind of abstraction of the page, uh, this jQuery is going to have direct access, it's going to directly manipulate the DOM, right? It's going to get its hands really dirty, uh, manipulate, you know, talking directly to the, to the DOM, right, to the uh, page. So let's reload. There we go. Hello from jQuery. Very good. So what do we want to do? Well, first of all, we like to listen for this incoming login method, right? Uh, so how do we do that? Well, we have uh, we have this login pay uh, this login over here, and um, let's see, uh, let's give it a name. Let's give it a name. It says ID uh, login button. Okay. Uh, so from J from the from jQuery, uh, what we could do is grab that. We can say var uh, login button. Let's grab that and say. Um, dollar sign hash login button there it is right and uh, let's create an event handler right if um, you click on it to create an event handler in uh, in um, in jQuery you would use the click uh, function and say that which function do you want to call when uh, there is a click event right I want to call the login uh, function okay and the function is down here login right so I'm going to say uh, alert, uh, login button, clicked. Okay, so if we refresh and click on this, notice that it says login button clicked. Make sense? All right. Um, all right. So what do we do here? Uh, once we click on that login, what do we want to do? We want to grab the username and password from the DOM, right? Uh, uh, and the and the and those are where they're right here, right? They have IDs too: ID user and ID password. See that? So let's grab them from the from over here. Let's grab the username, username. Let's grab it, uh, hash uh, username, and let's grab the password, right? Dollar sign uh, password. Okay. Uh, now that we have that in the login function, we could grab the values, right? So uh, uh, to to distinguish these things, I'm going to call that this is the username field, right, and this is the username field, yes, um, to grab the values, the actual username, uh, we can grab it from the field, username field, I can, I can ask it for the value, the value of the field, and I can grab the password, right, from the password field, right, and say value, right, and we can then display uh, maybe here the username, uh, username and the password. And so if we refresh and we type something there, we click on Bob. Indeed, we grab it right there. See that? We have them both. Everybody good? Everybody still with me? All right. Uh, so, but what we really want to do is that we want to send it to the uh, server, right? We want to send it to the server uh, with a URL, and the URL, I believe, it's something like. Um, let's see, I think it's uh, slash API slash user slash uh, query username equal uh, username, right? Something like that. Am I doing it right? And then uh, ampersand password equal and then password. I think that's the URL, right? Uh, and then we want to send it over to the server, right? Uh, I think that's the API. Let's see. Uh, assignment app.js and we have uh, no that's the morning uh, let's see Wednesday right here it's uh, services user service right there it's this one I believe find user right find user and find user depending on whether we have username and password it's gonna go one way or another okay right so let's try it Let's send. Let, let's send it from our controller. Let's send that uh, as a as an HTTP GET request, right? So to do that, uh, we use dollar sign AJAX. AJAX is a function, right? It's a function that allows us to generate an AJAX uh, call back to the server, right? And it takes as argument an object that takes that that we can configure uh, what the URL is. There it is, right? We can pass it around. Let's try it around. What happens? Let's let's bring let's bring the the um, here the network. Let's reload, and if we say Bob and Bob, and we say login. Let's see. It went out, right? And there it is. It's coming back with the object. See that? It went out, 
it generated a get. You know, API username, blah, 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 200. It's get. The default, the default method is get. Right? If you don't tell it what method you want, that's the default. Right? But you can override that. You can say, no, I don't want to get. I want to, I think it's type. He says, I want to generate a post instead. Okay? Right? But let's use get for now. All right? Yes? Everybody good? Okay. Uh, if it's successful, what do we want to do? You can provide a function to handle successful a, a, a 200, right? That comes back from the, from the server. Uh, so you can either provide the function as an anonymous function, and here's the response, right? We can say console log and look at the response that comes from the server. Let's look at that. So this is Bob and Bob, and we'll, let's look at the console. Login, there it is. This is the object that came back from the server. We have it right there, right? Uh, either as anonymous function or as what? Uh, we can provide a function here, right? Something like handle uh, successful um, login, right? And, uh, and, then, and then create a function down here, function uh, whose body is this, oops, right, right here, and here's the response, right, and here we can do console log response, right? So we reply and we say uh, Bob and Bob, same thing, right, same thing. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to navigate to where? Profile, right, the profile page, uh, but we need the ID, right, we need the ID, so let's grab the ID. We know that the object is coming back as user, so here's user, right? Uh, so we can grab the ID. We can say that the user ID is user dot underscore ID, right? And the URL where we want to go is what? Is is something like um, what is it? Is it profile.html? And we're gonna pass as argument uh, the user ID. User ID equal and then user ID. Yes? We're going to try to navigate there. That's the URL where we want to go. How do we do that? How do we navigate? We use we can use window, window uh, dot location uh, dot href and then uh, say URL. Right? So if we refresh this and we try to go Bob and Bob, uh, it's going to try and navigate there. And notice if URL is correct. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, jQuery Wednesday. Is that correct? Oh yeah, that's the right place, right? We're in the right place. Uh, and it's passing the user ID alongside, but it can't find profile.html. Right, so let's create profile.html real quick. Uh, let's see, uh, that's um, assignment. Uh, let's create profile.html, profile.html. There it is. So this would be h1 Profile. Let's try it again. Now it found it. Okay, we we navigated to the correct place, right? Uh, what do we want in there? Is a, well, let's copy the a profile page that we have already, right? So let's see profile. Where are you? Right here. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna go back to profile and I'm gonna paste it in here. Let's see. Uh, oh, that doesn't look right. Uh, oh right, we're, we're missing all the uh, all the bootstrap styling and all that, right? So let's uh, let's copy that from our login page. We already did that over here. Let's grab these two, these two, uh, and copy it and paste it up here. This is a full blown. Actually, I should have I should have put it in here, right? Let me grab it. Sorry, let me grab it again. Profile copy, and let me paste it in here. There it is. Okay. And then let me grab the uh, these two and put it in the header, in the head tag here. There we go. Uh, so let's refresh. All right, it looks more or less more or less uh, okay. I think we're missing a style sheet somewhere, right? Um, it might be uh, which one? I think it might be. Um, actually, let me copy that from somewhere. Where is it? Um, is it um, is it here? Is it under here? CSS. Let me grab that. And let me paste it in here. Styles and let me load that as well. Link um, href and styles. There it is. And this is a style sheet. Style sheet. There we go. 
All right, so this is more or less what we have. Obviously, it's not an Angular application anymore. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, what do we need to do? We need to grab this ID and then go back to the server for the, for the uh, user object. So let's try and do that. Uh, we'll need a controller for our profile page. Uh, let's grab and create a, a little uh, profile.js for this. And let's load it for, from our index page, from our, uh, sorry, from our HTML. Let's load that. So script source equal profile.js, there it is. Uh, and in there, uh, let's uh, put it, it all our code inside of an iffy. Right, let's um, uh, declare an init function for this, bless you. And so we have this init here. And in here, what do we want to do? We want to uh, grab this ID from the URL, right? Uh, so let's see, can we do console uh, log, log, let's see, uh, window.location.href. Let's see what, what happens here. Uh, okay, so we, have, we get the URL, right? We need to grab this down at the end, right? So one um, ugly way to do this Right, href is equal to this. Right, because maybe we can maybe split it. Split on the question mark. Right, and uh, so we have the var, the query, and the first element. Right, so that's a console, console.log, the query, query. Uh, that didn't work. Oh no, the second element, right? The second element. There is user ID equal two three four, right? And we can split that again on the on the uh, on the um, we can split it again. So we can say the ID, the user ID, is equal to the query split again uh, on the question on the equal sign, and we want the second half, right? Uh, so we get the user ID here. This is a very dirty way of doing it. Uh, certainly, there's more much much nicer. Uh, ele much more elegant ways to do this. So we get the 234 right there. Once we have the 234, what do we want to do? We want to go fetch the, uh, the, the user by ID, right? And we have an API for that, I believe, right? So the URL, uh, I believe it's um, uh, API uh, user and then followed by the user ID. Is that correct? I think so, right? Uh, so we can do a, uh, we can do an Ajax call uh, to the URL, URL, uh, URL, right? And, uh, and on success, uh, we want to uh, look at the response, console, console.log, uh, response, response. Right, so if we go there, notice that indeed we're, we're getting a hold of the object from the, uh, back from the server, correct? Right? And what do we want to do? Is uh, actually we, let's pass it along for to a function. Maybe a, a, a proper name for the function would be uh, render uh, user, right? Uh, so here's a function uh, render user, and here's a user, right? That is being passed as an as an as an object that's coming from the server. And what do we want to do? We want to populate uh, all these elements, right? We want to populate. Let's see. What do we want to populate? Um, we're going to probably have this user over here, right? Obviously, we don't have an ng model anymore, right? So that's, that's irrelevant. We don't need that. Uh, but we do have an ID, right? We have an ID. So we could, uh, we could say, hey, grab the ID. Grab the ID, the, um, the first name uh, ID, which is this one right here, right? And I want to set the value of that input field. I want it equal to user dot first name, I think. Let's render that. There it is, Bob. See that? There it is. Right? And we could do uh, things, uh, same thing for last. Right? Uh, last name. Right? Last name. See that? Right? So and we could do, we could keep doing uh, the same thing. Does that make sense? Right? Again, very, very quick uh, example of what you could possibly do and implement this in a, in a jQuery version as opposed to uh, Angular, right? Um, uh, you know, I, uh, uh, obviously, uh, with jQuery, you are 
you know you are ta you are talking directly you know raw right to the HTML there is no abstraction layer right you're way way down uh, in the weeds right uh, but sometimes you need to get there right sometimes you need to get there uh, for instance uh, angular certainly does right at some point it has to talk to the raw DOM right and it does this through this abstraction of the directives right and and so we would like to learn how ourselves can do something like that, right? And we'll talk about directives uh, next, all right?